We're enslaved inside of our heads without being able to see it. We're crippled. I just couldn't live that life. I was talking to an old Hawaiian about partying when they were young, and all of a sudden you could hear it in the way they were talking, what true freedom was. This was a chance to do something that was just pure the art of life. So I came out and just started hacking at the jungle. That's insane. No Hawaiian was going to do that, so I wound up with the land. There were wild pigs running through all here. This was my escape. <laughs> My life is a process of iteration. There's nothing to accomplish. Outside of the human mind, there's this immense universe. The world out there is basically pure mathematics. All these bizarre things that happen in quantum mechanics are when things are indistinguishable. In Buddhism, it's the same thing. No, oh, we're all enlightened. And in reality, the way we act, we act like we're not. And in essence, it's because we're totally entangled with our environment. You know, the two opposite views, they contradict each other. But you need both of them to describe reality. Then I discovered the dolphins. How much money would it take to be able to spend five years going every day swimming with the dolphins? I look in our human minds, and it looks like half of the emotions are adaptions to scarcity. Their adaption for survival is politeness. That was the most fun thing I've ever done in my whole life. No amount of money could afford that. You, know, you just have to have your freedom 